Do you find it difficult to come up with content ideas for your podcast? Or perhaps you've gotten stuck during an interview with a guest where you have just nothing else to ask. Try Poddex today. Poddex is the best all-in-one podcast idea generation tool. You get everything from episode ideas to interesting conversation starters for interviews, engaging discussion topics for your live streams, and even social media content ideas. With this tool, you don't have to spend weeks trying to come up with content for an episode or unique questions for your guests. Just shuffle the cards and pick one at random, hit the record button, and get started. Now you can make better content, have more fun while at it, and get your viral moment. All with Poddex. Head over to poddex.com and use code C4C at checkout. Hello and welcome to day four of the C4 Challenge. I am Sean Smith, the Executive Director of Drippin' in Black Productions. This episode is another last drip. And the last drip, again, is a historical aspect to connect our guests to a person or an event in, in Black history. And since this was Black History Month, this is a great time to showcase the work of David V. Lewis, our historian, that's what we call him. And actually, he is a historian, historic, uh, history teacher. And we're going to, to peruse the story of Margaret Harris. So sit back and enjoy this. Have a great Friday, folks, and be well. Peace. A Drippin' in Black thanks to Dr. Tanya Mitchell Spradlin, who is, in my humble opinion, a budding superstar. She has the passion, mindset, determination, and skills to reimagine traditions in the world of conducting while inspiring generations to come. Um, so looking forward to seeing what the future holds for that young lady. But now we have reached the final segment of our podcast called The Last Drip. The Last Drip is the last opportunity for us to squeeze in a bit more Black excellence before we leave you. In this final segment, we highlight a common thread between our guests and our vast and rich African-American history. For this episode, we tell the truly phenomenal story of Margaret Rosarian Harris. Margaret was born in Chicago in 1943, and by the age of three, she was already a prodigy on the piano. In 1947, before she was four years old, she played a public piano recital of 18 short pieces and three encores, all performed from memory. Days before she would turn four, she went to court to get the right to pursue a professional career. She had been taking piano lessons for less than a year, but had already mastered several pieces of music. She was reading music before she was reading print. She was also said to have perfect pitch meaning she could recognize any note upon hearing it. Margaret performed concert tours until she was six, during which time she took a break to attend school. At the age of 10, she performed with the Chicago Symphony and won a scholarship to the Curtis Institute in Philadelphia. At age 12, she was enrolled into one of the world's premier schools for the performing arts the Juilliard School. She eventually earned her bachelor's and master's degree from the Juilliard School. As an adult, Ms. Harris gained additional celebrity as a conductor. In 1970, she became music director of the Broadway musical Hair, in which she commanded an orchestra of seven males, all of whom were older than she was. Margaret was the first black woman to conduct the symphony orchestras of Chicago 
Detroit, Los Angeles, St. Louis, Minnesota, and 11 other American cities. Margaret Rosarian Harris, like this episode's guest, Dr. Tanya Mitchell Spradlin, was motivated at an early age to follow her passion into a profession in which she transformed traditions and blazed a trail for future generations. Her remarkable story is this episode's last drip. For more on Margaret Rosarian Harris, check out newspapers.com, ladailymira.com, sfgate.com, and bibliolore.org. My thanks to all of these websites for the knowledge. And as always, at this time, I implore you to get up on the vast and rich African-American history. It is out there for those of us who seek it. All right. And at this time, as always, I implore you to be good, be good, be good. It is a choice. Just experienced a Dripping in Black production.